<laughs> Good morning. Good morning. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlog. So if you enjoy this video and this beginning is a sign of how my run's gonna go today, uh, no. make sure you come back every day. Yay! I'm here. I'm so excited. <laughs> Today is the half marathon. I am going to Magic Kingdom to cheer today. I'm gonna run. Peter's gonna run. He's gonna run so fast. I don't think I have. Like her. I don't have my, I need the keys. I need you to keep going. I need to go grab my watch. Oh, yeah. Crisis averted. Yes. <laughs> I did go like, all the way back to the car and didn't find my like cell phone armband. Uh-huh. Which would have been a major problem. Yes. Uh, and I called her and I was like, I don't know how, but can you just look in the, in the bucket of the bag and see if it's there? And it was. Yeah. And I sped walk back. <laughs> <laughs> and I am manifesting that that's the last thing of the day. You're good. You got it all. You're well fueled. Decently slept. Our little baby didn't want to go to bed last night, but. No, he would just look at me and be like. <laughs> <laughs> he was just like so silly. Yeah. But. I feel, I feel good. I'm not the one running, but. I feel good. I do. All right, so you're never supposed to do anything new on race day, but because of what I was explaining yesterday about my weird fatigue, I'm doing a run walk today. Not based in time, which is what a lot of people do. I'm doing a distance. I'm gonna run a half mile, walk a quarter mile, and repeat. So I run three quarters of today, walk a quarter. We knew this weekend was gonna be like, Kind of go with the flow and see how Peter felt. And I think this is like a really good option that like Peter's excitedness needs to take the back seat, which is really difficult. But I think you can do it. I think it'll be good. Fingers crossed, and if it works out well, then I'll do it again tomorrow for the full. So it's almost like a dry run, even though it's a half marathon. Yeah. It's a full race. It's, it's like you're not doing it for the first time for the marathon. Doing it for the first time for the half. <laughs> There goes Peter and Steve off into the sunset. They're going to the corral. It's like four, oh, eight. Um, Peter said they moved the corrals up at like 4.20 yesterday, so they were, um, they were ready to go. All right, we said there was no more hiccups, but I actually don't have the armband. And then we couldn't find Steve, and then we lost Steve, and then we had to find Sarah, and then we couldn't find Sarah. Oh my God, please don't hurt yourself. I just rolled my ankle. <laughs> and now we took the 13 mile walk out to the start line. And it starts in 30 minutes. I've never gotten to a corral this late, but hey, trying to uh, alleviate that, what would you call that, stress? I'm stressing myself out that we're not in the corral this early. So there is a lot more fanfare for the marathon weekend compared to Y to Nine, which makes me very happy. We're certainly excited for you out here this weekend as you celebrate and make your way on out towards the start. So cool photo opportunities, obviously no characters still, um, but those are nice to still like take a nice photo. I am going to be mating up with Megan and Katie Petrus. They're going to join me at Magic Kingdom to cheer along with ACS. So I will be far from alone today. All right, I abandoned Steve. I'm in the corral one ahead of him. So um, getting started, we got VP of sports for Run Disney on the Jumbotron. Um, so half marathon and full marathon is a trek from the Epcot parking lot. You actually have to walk out onto backstage lane. You end up walking like, I think it is a mile to your corral. So um, it's 4.30, I'm coming up on my corral now. Excited, nervous, it'll be, I'm hoping, should be fine that I don't have my armband for my, my cell phone. So it's all great, it's great. It's gonna be a good half marathon. Got my nutrition, which is basically the most important piece. And gonna have some fun. This is always surreal with like the whole, like this is typically cars speeding by 70 miles an hour. Disney buses going to parks and resorts and I'm just walking away.
here's a closer look at that golden Mickey Mouse statue. Peter showed it the other day, but it was a little far away. So I thought I'd give an up close look. have just gone in. It's a great spot. Uh, and Peter has officially started. Oh man, we got Tink and Periwinkle together. Look at that. That is amazing. We're coming up on mile two, I think. Feeling good and strong so far, trying to get the hang of this run walk thing, but feeling good. Great weather, uh, great conditions. Here we go, look at TTC, one of my favorite spots. So it'll be here tomorrow. Look at these crowds, I love it. Oh, Run Disney's back. We got school bands back, woo! Yeah, woo! Here we go, coming up on the Magic Kingdom. Parking turn style. Got a little bit of ways before we get in the Magic Kingdom, but it feels really good to be running underneath this arch again. The little boy is awake, and Peter should be here very soon. Here we go, buses at Magic Kingdom. Here comes the first of three parks today, and this is going to be a lot of fun in quite some time since I ran to the castle. Very exciting. Yes, the train station now. Sarah should be right in here. Wow! Oh, this is beautiful. Woo! Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What are you doing here? All right, here we go. Just get ready for this. Come on. This is worth it all right here. Woo! Are you kidding me? Colonial Mickey? Yeah, Mick! Woo! Okay, I don't know if it's because I'm doing something different and I'm like doing the run walk thing today, but MK feels like a wild party today. We got Country Bear Jamboree over here with some bears out. Feeling good. Coming up on mile six. Ooh, we're going a little, a little towards Splash Mountain. It's a little different. Coming up on a very dark mile seven. I think my friend Ben is right after this water station to come cheer me on because we're right by Grand Floridian. It's still gonna be so nice to see him. Go Peter! You got Woo! this! Yeah. Awesome, give Woo! it up! Look at that sky. We're on the monorail, back to Epcot, saw dad. We ran around, we looked at the Christmas tree. James is mad he's back in the stroller, but he just he just gave these people really dirty looks. Peter is somewhere over there. We're racing it. Are you happy now? Okay, come on. Look at this sunrise. Look how beautiful this is. Coming up on mile marker nine. Still feeling strong. It was great seeing Ben back by the Grand Floridian. Sarah texted me and said she was on the monorail waving when she was going heading back to Epcot for the finish line. So just about four miles left, a little over. Oh, did I see a runner? Oh yeah, there's some runners. I don't know if I've ever 
never seen this guy look like that before. It's a beautiful day. I am so much more. I just had a good run today. And it's not over yet, but I was very worried after yesterday's run. But today, I made it all about getting the job done. You know what time it is? You guys know what Mr. Ryan would say. Time for a quick 5K. Here we go. I'm starting to think I didn't look at the uh, route good enough. There's no way we're going to Crescent Lake or Studios today. We're almost at mile 11. We got Epcot here. I think we're going to do a backdoor entrance into World Showcase through Future World into the finish. But, man, is it gorgeous. Woo! Are you kidding me? Coming into Epcot, less than a mile, but I had to show this beautiful, beautiful sunrise. Look at that. All right. Time to finish this. Look how beautiful this place looks right now at the sun rising. Huh. Just like 13 mile markers to be around this corner. A little counterintuitive. Big kick, big kick coming in, big kick. Here we go. Mile 13, baby. Woo! Let's finish it. Look at that. Look at that. I feel really good, uh, especially with the level of concern I had going in it, but it was a fun run. Um, it was interesting doing the run walk, but obviously it was the thing I needed to do, so I'll probably be doing it tomorrow too. Um, I feel real good, very happy. Such an enjoyable run, great weather, great crowds, great runners, great volunteers, just great everything. So we headed home unexpectedly after the race because James got sick, which is like totally from left field. So we're happy to be back at the Airbnb nice and early. We ordered some breakfast, got biscuits and gravy, if you got iced coffee, a little bit of waffle action, a little breakfast sandwich, and just look at that sunlight with breakfast potatoes and French toast. We got a marathon to run tomorrow. Got to fuel up. How was your race? Very, very good. Yeah. I feel great. I mean, I'm sore. I need to roll more. Yeah. But this is a, like, I like to fuel big early. early the day before a race. So then it has time my body is going to process it all. And then I'll have more of like a liquidy and more very concentrated lighter dinner. Later. Yeah. So it's been a few hours. James took a nap on me for a little bit. I've been resting. I'm going to do a good roll session now. It's my foot roller and then like everywhere else roller. Um, I'm gonna roll now and then I'm gonna start um, do, do those couple of hours of work I was talking about the other day and then before we go to sleep I'm gonna roll again because I felt really happy with the run it was a great time um, but my legs are very sore and I think part of that might have to do with the fact that I sat on the couch for about three hours after right when we got home with James and which is not a smart thing to do like your muscles need to keep moving when they've been used like that so they don't lock up so a good roll session now, and then another good roll session before bed, and I should be good. Um, we have some visitors coming by later just to say, hey, they're gonna be there tomorrow morning as well, and we're gonna, I think they're gonna bring dinner, or we might order dinner or something. Um, and of course, hopefully as early as possible, like seven o'clock bedtime. I already started putting out my needs for the morning, including these recovery samples. It's about five o'clock. Doing a quick Target and maybe Walgreens trip to pick up a few things that we need for the cruise. Kind of uh, in the weird in between of like getting ready for the marathon to finish the Dopey Challenge, soaking up our last bit of time in Disney World Resort as we get ready to check out on Monday of our Airbnb to head over to Cape Canaveral for our cruise. So it kind of worked out with today being like a restful day and James not feeling well because he could rest while we kind of got laundry going and started organizing our stuff to pack and what's going to stay in the car that's going to be parked at the port and what's going to come with us onto the cruise and Evie is staying with some friends so we have to make sure she's all set as well. Hey Eve. All right, we got... Do you like my hat? Yeah. <laughs> James cannot take me when I wear a hat. Wait until I have, we both have our hats on, uh -huh. on the cruise. Yeah. I'm all set up for tomorrow here. We started to pack for the cruise because we are gonna like we're not gonna bring everything we brought. Everything is clean, just has to be folded and put. 
It's gotta be for tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but it's about it's a little after seven. Yeah. We're gonna get ready for bed and hope that monster goes down. Chelsea and Kristen came over. We decided to play it safe with James. Did you say that already or no? Yeah, I did. Okay. I did. Yeah. Um, but he's much better now. I honestly, I think he must have eaten something or that didn't agree with his that body. Didn't agree because it was just like he needed it out. But well, as you can see, he's perfectly fine now. So I'm gonna shave and then we're gonna go to bed or hopefully go to bed. We gotta wake up at two for the marathon and the finishing. I feel much better tonight than I did yesterday as far as like the vibe. Oh, your, your <laughs> my aura. Because yeah. I was, I'm also in a better place than yesterday. <laughs> it was the run walk that saved me. It's good to be home. And uh, like so much of running is mental. Yeah. And so I'm happy you just had a really good day. We all, I mean. The only concern is the, is this, is the heat tomorrow. Right. Alrighty, it is good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>